The complete combustion of ethane is the same as the complete combustion of any hydrocarbon. You're going to begin with that hydrocarbon itself. I happen to know that ethane is a gas at room temperature and combustion involves burning it in oxygen. That's O2. Always. Combustion means add oxygen. Always. What you get are the common oxides of these two elements. In the case of carbon, it's carbon dioxide. And in the case of hydrogen, it's water. I like saying that water is a gas. Sometimes you'll get liquid water if it's cold enough outside, but CO2 gas and H2O gas are your safe bets. Complete combustion means you form only carbon dioxide and water. You don't make carbon monoxide or soot or smoke or anything like that. You only get these two pure products. You may want to balance this. Two carbons, I would need two carbons here. Six hydrogens, I would need to triple this to make my six hydrogens. Now I'm looking ahead here, if I make that three, I'm gonna have an odd number of oxygens and my oxygens come in pairs. I'm gonna double this just so that I now have four carbons and 12 hydrogens. The 12 hydrogens gets balanced on the right by putting a six here, CO6 times two gives me that 12. And now to get my oxygens going, I have eight oxygens here and an extra six here, that's 14. How many pairs of O's would that be? That would be seven. Now your teacher might accept it if you did one, seven halves or 3.5, two and three. I really don't care how you balance it as long as it's actually balanced. And what's most important to me is that complete combustion is reacting it with oxygen to make carbon dioxide and water. True for all hydrocarbons. Thanks for checking in and best of luck.